It's umsum time. What if gravity flipped? No big deal. Umsum can handle anything. Oh, umsum. If gravity flipped, instead of sitting comfortably on our sofas, huh? we may now be clinging to our ceilings. Hmm. Instead of being stuck to the ground, our homes may start floating in air. Hmm. Instead of flying comfortably in air, birds may start crawling on ground. Hmm. Even mountains may start floating in air. Trekking enthusiasts may start taking helicopters to reach them. Hmm. Rain may no longer huh? fall down. We may have to travel above the clouds to get some rain. Hmm. Planets may no longer revolve around the sun. Our solar system will be in a complete disarray. Hmm. Our basketball throws huh? may never come down again. Hmm. Floating may now become easy. Wild animals may be seen floating everywhere. Huh? Hmm. People may not fall off mountain cliffs anymore. Trekkers might get very happy. Hmm. Climbing Mount Everest might suddenly get very, very easy. Hmm. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. Why do birds need gravity to swallow food? Maybe because they are fans of Newton. No. When humans eat food, it enters into a muscular organ called food pipe or esophagus. In the esophagus, a series of contraction and relaxation takes place that pushes or moves food towards the stomach. This movement is called peristalsis. Dude, why do you use such complicated names? Oh, please listen. In most birds, such peristaltic <laughs> movement doesn't take place in their esophagus. Hence, oh. they need to depend on gravity to push their food through the esophagus. When a bird eats its food, the bird lifts or tilts its head up and with the help of its tongue, it directs the food towards the throat. Then, the gravitational force of Earth causes the food to slide down into a pouch called crop, thus helping the bird to swallow its food. <laughs> what if Earth was made of lava? No big deal. Umsum is also made of lava. Oh, Umsum. Firstly, oh. the moon would be extremely happy. Why would I be so happy? Simple. If Earth was made of lava, huh? all humans as well as animals may permanently shift to the moon. <laughs> hmm. Secondly, Earth's neighbors, as in Mars and Venus, might get extremely scared. But why would we get scared? Simple. If Earth was made of lava, huh? <laughs> Earth might start throwing lava balls at them just for fun. Mars and Venus would be terrified. Hmm. Lastly, Sun may throw Earth out of the solar system. No ways! But why? Let me explain. If Earth was made of lava, huh? Earth might start attracting visitors from far, far away. Huh? Sun might get jealous and throw Earth out of the solar system. <laughs> How do earthworms move? They never move. They just sit in one place. <laughs> oh, I'm some. In order to move forward, an earthworm first extends the front part of its body using its muscles. Once huh? its front body is extended, tiny hair-like structures called setae come out of its front part and insert themselves into the soil. Hmm. Now these inserted setae act as an anchor for the earthworm to pull its rear part forward. Once the rear part of the body has moved forward, the earthworm retracts the setae extended from its front part and inserts the setae from its rear part into the soil. Now these inserted setae act as an anchor for the earthworm to again pull its front part forward. The earthworm keeps on repeating the cycle in order to move forward. Hmm. What if Earth huh? lost its atmosphere? Ooh. Then I would cover it using my um-sum umbrella. Ah. Wow, um-sum.
Sound travels to our ears by vibrating air molecules which are present all around us. Now, no atmosphere means no air. Hence, there would be complete silence. Secondly, no atmosphere means no oxygen. Life on land would not last for more than five minutes. But life inside oceans might continue for some time as fishes will use dissolved oxygen to survive. Eventually, even that supply will run out. Thirdly, no atmosphere means no clouds. Our sky would lose its magnificent blue oh. color. It would look just as black as outer space. Hmm. Fourthly, unfortunately, birds ah. can't fly in a vacuum. They will drop down to Earth. Lastly, without any atmosphere, days would be shorter by four minutes, while nights longer as atmospheric refraction advances sunrise by two minutes and delays sunset by two minutes. What if an asteroid hit Earth? No ways! I will protect Earth using my Umsum shield. <laughs> wow, Umsum. An asteroid is a small <laughs> rocky body orbiting the sun. Millions of asteroids lie in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. The asteroid which hit Earth almost 65 million years ago is considered to be the sole huh. reason behind the extinction of dinosaurs. The force with which an asteroid hits the Earth is not the only problem. The dust and smoke which arise in the atmosphere after the impact block the sunlight, resulting in the lowering of overall temperature and eventually leading to the death of a number of species. If an apartment-sized asteroid were to hit Earth, then it would probably wipe out a small city. If a 20-storied building-sized asteroid were to hit Earth, then it might completely flatten a small country. How do stars form? Stars are like huge balls of fire that emit a tremendous amount of heat and light. Stars don't form in a few seconds, minutes, or hours. Star formation process is so slow that it can take millions of years. A star begins its life inside vast molecular clouds of dust and gas. These molecular clouds are also known as nebulae or dark nebulae. They mostly contain hydrogen and helium molecules along with some other particles. Normally, these molecular clouds are cold and stable. However, a nearby supernova explosion or galactic collision may send a shockwave or tremendous amount of energy through a molecular cloud. Now, in the molecular cloud, this energy causes a gravitational disturbance due to which it begins to collapse on itself under its own gravity, causing hydrogen and helium to clump together and thus increasing the mass in the center of the cloud. This increase in mass increases the gravitational pull thus attracting even more molecules and particles from the surrounding. As more and more molecules and particles collapse or fall into the center of the cloud, the center begins to heat up. This heated center or heated core is known as a protostar. A protostar continues to pull more molecules and gets hotter and hotter until the temperature and pressure reach to such an extent that hydrogen nuclei begin to fuse with one another, producing helium and releasing heat, light, and radiation. This process is called nuclear fusion. When this happens, the inward force of gravity is exactly balanced by the outward force created by heat and radiation. These inward and outward forces maintain balance and thus, a star is born. What if there were no airplanes? Then I will launch my Umsum Space Company! <laughs> wow, I'm some. Firstly, the Wright brothers who invented the airplane would huh? not be famous anymore. Secondly, with no airplanes, trains and ships would be extremely popular for long distance travel. Thirdly, oh. with no airplanes, travel time will increase by a lot. People will rarely travel across countries. Tourism industry will not be lucrative anymore. Fourthly, with no airplanes, worldwide defense industry will look very different. Tanks might make a comeback. Ah. Fifthly, with no airplanes, humans will look to the sky. 
watch the birds and wish that one day even they could fly with them. Also, with no airplanes, people might start watching their favorite places on TV instead of traveling far off distances to visit them. On the flip side, with no airplanes, pollution levels will go down worldwide. 